Well, hello all. We're in Out of War again. And I wanted to record a short video just to show off the dirt physics and the dirt simulation as it stands just now. Um, and the reason for that is there's an update an update coming out in the near future to the dirt physics. And I'm a wee bit concerned about it. Um, so this new update that's coming out is going to bring back fill planes. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, performance wise, I think the voxel dirt is a bit problematic. Ooh, got nothing there. Say nothing of my skill as an operator. Hmm. I like it. Um, yeah, the physics on the voxels are a bit of a drain, I think. And obviously they've gone for the large machines, so big machines, lots of voxels, lots of people complaining about performance. Um, I think that's why they're doing it anyway. But it's a bit of a shame because... Oh, anyway, I'm hoping it doesn't ruin this voxel dirt simulation because I think I think it's pretty awesome personally. One of the earlier I mean he's quite active the dev. He's made a lot of um you know, good comments about the development and early on he did introduce fill planes because when the game first came out the, the it was really problematic performance wise. Um very unstable and just it was good when it worked but it was just janky so I feel lots of people complaining then about it um, so they brought in fill planes but then he worked away at it and he got he got the Foxwell simulation to a point where he was happy with it performance wise and he took the fill planes out and said, I'm not doing this. And this is about voxel digging. And I want the best digging simulation I can get and this is the way to do it. And I thought that was well, that was refreshing. Because one thing I've come to loathe is development by Discord pool. Um, there's a lot of people helping developers open a discord, it's great for communication and so on, but what tends to happen is you just get loud, loud people complaining and moaning and they want things different and there are more than one or two examples where what was a promising title has just descended into like development, or the development's gone off the rails anyway because they've just tried to pander to the loud crowd. And the problem with Out of War is the loud crowd. And they want the fill plane. And they want their farm sim dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I reckon one of the drivers behind that is because everybody's in a rush. Everyone wants to have a huge mine, huge equipment. Um, build the biggest, and I don't. I'm not sure why. And it's not a competition. I mean, each to their own. You can play it how you like, I suppose. For me, the way I like to play this is just to enjoy the excellent 
Um, an excavator simulator for what it is. Because you can, one of the things you can do is just load out your truck, placing, you know, placing the load where you want it. And you just can't do that with a fill plane. It doesn't work. Because what happens with a fill plane is you don't get this mounding um, in the back of the truck. You get a generic oblong of dirt which expands as you put more dirt in. And it's got n <laughs> nothing to do with skill. Operator skill or anything that goes out the window. And it's really just for simplicity and speed, I reckon. That's my view on it anyway. I could be wrong. Let's get this over to the plan. This is something people complain about. I'll show you. Because when I drive off, you'll start losing the voxels at the back. You'll shed them. And it is a bit of a, yeah, it's a bit problematic. Um, <coughs> but it's not the end of the world. You can certainly live with a few voxels falling off here and there. But the way I've been playing this, this is the new map, but it's pretty cool. Um, I've just started out with the excavator and the uh, moxie. And there was a big lithium deposit here at the here at the you know at the mine here. So you, I've just worked that out, paid off the paid off my initial loan, and then I'm taking out another loan and bought a small dozer, and it's it's awesome. That's just a great fun uh, little simulator. What's happening? I'll show you a couple of tracks. People complain about the dozer and like all the stuff. It doesn't work perfect. It's not one-to-one -one simulation, and no doubt it's going to improve. <coughs> but I had no problem putting in this little um, road down through the benches here with a dozer, because before. I was having to take a massive roundabout route to get up onto this bench. So you'll see this um, lithium node coming through here. So that's all got excavated out down there. And then there's a big hole here, so I've got a bit of a crater left. And there's still some around the edges. But no problem putting that road in. And then I came down here at the coal just to try something else. Because what I want to do is try and work out how, how you would actually operate an excavator and a dumper because I ain't no plant operator. I'm going to show you what I've done here. And maybe you'll still be able to do this, I hope you can. But I've mounded up, I put that channel in there. I tried loading out from the front there and then realised that wasn't going to work. Looked at some photos of um, mines, you know, where people are small quarries and things like that, and you always see a, a, an excavator sitting on top of a mound and loading out from there. So that's what I've done. I've just mounded up this heap and then pull the moxie alongside and start loading out. I think that's going to be a bit too far back but I've got a bit of a bit of a mound behind there so we'll maybe dig that out. See if we can't get back with the moxie a bit better.
so tricky sometimes. I had a, I had my controllers set up just nice, and then anyway, I've tried to record this video a couple of times. I've just been tearing my hair out, um, and the process of doing that unplugged. Oops, excuse me, no depth perception on the monitor. Yeah, I unplugged my Xbox controller. And um, I had. Anyway, lost all my sense, so it took me a while to rejig that. I think I've got them back to what they were, but I'd spent probably a few hours building up some muscle memory. And I'm not sure that I've got the exact same set <laughs> configuration. Because I seem to be having some. Mental block trying to get the digging happening. Oh, never mind. I just want to get that back tire a bit there. If I can get that out of the way, I might be able to get in. A bit better with a dumper. I really want it alongside. I have to get the bulldozer in. Let's see. Yeah, that's flipping huge, right? Okay. Things aren't too bad in the loop. Save auto save freeze there. Yeah, so we'll see what happens with the new dirt. That's a toy wee bucket that one. I'm really hopeful it doesn't spoil my fun with the voxels. Anyway, I figured it wouldn't hurt to record a wee video just to, for posterity and put my view out there. Well, there's a lot of people like to play it. Um, you know, building concrete monstrosities and conveyor belts snaking around the joint all over the place. Um, I prefer just digging. too good of an excavator simulator to waste your time on flipping conveyor belts. This is something I'll show you. Yeah, there you go, look. <laughs> That's what people are moaning about. Um, I 
get upset when when that happens. So you get um, you drop a few voxels next to your vehicle, and then it sort of mounds up under your vehicle and bubbles it out. And yeah, it looks a bit problematic. I don't think it's an insurmountable challenge to fix that. I don't think you need to go back to fill planes to do it. Yeah, we shall see, because I think it's um, coming sooner rather than later. See the, I think the problem is, I think a lot of this comes from, a lot of people playing this game actually are coming from the other mining games. So you've got Gold Rush and then you've got mining mods and that for farms and, and they all use full planes and people play it. Um, I mean, Gold Rush <coughs> has leaderboards, challenges, you know, for produ you know, production. So people are just out there trying to process as much as you can. And I think that's probably where the, some of that stems from anyway. We'll try and put a wee, another wee bucket down the back there. And that should do this load. And you can't do that with a full plane. It's a threat. That's my view of the world, anyway. So, I've got a couple of bits of kit here, I've got a few, a couple hundred thousand left in loans to pay off. Um, for the dump truck. Uh, sorry, the bulldozer that I just bought. And then I'll probably go out there and start rooting around and see if I can find some other deposits. Um, and yeah, look, I will get into wash plants and separators and so on. Um, but if it's going to be big runs, you know, from the pit face to um, you know, processing equipment, that's in trucks. There's no mine in the world that's a spaghetti of conveyor belts. I mean, you get mines with huge conveyor belt systems, absolutely. But they go from... Um, what do they call it? Like where they've processed the ore, where the ore's been dumped through the processor and then it's transferred through conveyor systems. And nobody's dumping rock into conveyor systems at the co at the face. And taking that to the wash plant. And as far as I know in it, that just doesn't happen. Um, no, I want to retrieve some wood that I got, because this was... Look, I've been jangling away at this and trying to get it to work and so on. Really enjoying it. Um, and yeah, look, I do run into problems where I drop voxels and the vehicle bounces up. And so, this is one of the classic workarounds for that is putting a pad down like this. And I don't like it. I'll have to just get my HUD up here. I wish there was a hotkey for the HUD, would be nice. I don't like it. Um, 
because you should be able to put your, you know, I'm sure there's a way of um, working the dirt system so that it doesn't stack up like that if you drop a voxel near your vehicle. I think you could probably have some radius under the vehicle or some exception area under the vehicle so that it dropped voxels. Rather than mounting up under a vehicle they just get deleted. And that would save you, um, you know, that would stop stop it mounting up. And you're not going to lose a lot because you, you drop the odd voxel. And it would save that frustration. But we'll see. See whether that gets tackled. And in the meantime, I'll just enjoy digging. Um, I'm working my way along this node. In fact, I tell you what, I'm going to have to move my mound. This is what I've been doing, I'll show you. And I'm not seeing anyone else playing this way. I'm not saying I've invented it or anything. I'm just using the equipment to do what it's supposed to do, you know? something on my control set up because I'm not quite as fluid as I was before. I think the bucket curls are on the ground from previous few hours of gaming. Or is it hard to say? The excavator is tricky to use, it just requires practice though. And I'm using a, just an Xbox gamepad. I don't think you could really get too fluid using keyboard and keyboard and mouse of the excavator it just doesn't I don't know if people do use it. get that fluid with it. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just stacking my mound up, moving it along. And I'll move back and that'll give me another big work area to put into the dumper. And that's just giving me like a natural sort of depth to work to. Oops, it is was supposed to be in closer. <laughs> um, then I can go back in and Go back over, you know, once I've gone down to as far as I can with the excavator. Uh, that 
that's looking alright. Um, I will go and flatten this because it's just it is there are limits to what you can do with the machines. That's interesting. Those foxes haven't disappeared, I think, because the buckets are just sitting there. If I yeah, there you go, see. Basically, want a fairly flat surface for this excavator to sit on. I think that'll do it. Let's see how we go. A grape. Um, a grape in the forums, that's a grape I'm willing to side with. <laughs> and I'll trundle down here and do it all over again. That'll probably do it for me. It was just a. Yeah, I see, got a wobble going on there. I just wanted to put out a video just to. Put my fuse on, fuse across about the changes, upcoming changes that look to be happening. And put myself on the record as saying, I like Foxhole Dirt. <laughs> so, anyway, happy digging. And uh, see you in the next one. Cheers. Let's come out. Hopefully, jump late.